Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you one of my favorite sketchbook. This was my first ever sketchbook practice that I made in 2020 and it has a very bad drawing which is I don't really show in the public but um, as a request maybe I can show you the moments of making this so let's see. So in the first page, I have some original characters which is I did not copy and this is more based on my idea or my imagination. This part was inspired into anime like an adventurer, some things like that. And the pose is kinda terrible, I mean look at this row. The pose is kinda stiff so okay move on. To the second page where I add some shadings and yeah. <laughs> This is also kind of stiff poses, but I do like this boy holding a bow like he's planning something to kill or just in my idea like he's planning. And by the way, I like the shading that I made here. Also, this whole sketchbook are just a part of my imagination and I don't know why I did not use references because in that moment I used to watch Kim Jong-ki interviews which is he was really really good at drawing using his imagination so I just maybe inspired with him to do the same thing. But that moment I was wrong because I still need some references to tell what's wrong and right, right? So I really prefer you guys to have some references because it will help you for a better understanding in things like anatomy. So don't be me. Okay, up some more. Here it is. Okay, this one is my favorite. This character is kinda similar to Endeavor from My Hero Academia if you know that anime because I gave him a fire power and yeah I gave him some cool grape shape hair but I don't think I like his pose and his muscle because it's kind of stiff so I recommend you guys if you're a beginner start something like basic shapes or dynamic poses. Okay, so this page is my most favorite. It is because I put some stories with it and this is a doodle that inspires in many ways. Like Adventure Time, Monster Inc, Attack on Titan, and many more. And also I put myself here as a subject like a perspective. Also, this whole doodle drawing is inspired on the pandemic that is happening in 2020. Also, I made a bunch of OC here as I represent them that they're afraid of something monsters which is attacking them. And I put some mass on because it's kinda avoiding them the contagious disease that is spreading to their town. And the pen I use here is Tech Pen 0.5 which is when I hatch the paper. I will just blend it using my thumb or my finger. This page where I try to draw the attack on Titan but I did not continue this drawing because I don't really like the composition of the perspective. So yeah, it turns out I lost the interest to follow up. Um, okay, I don't want you to see this. It's kinda lame. So in the next one was inspired on the Titanic. Since when I did this, I was just finished on watching the movie. So I just got the idea of putting the shipwreck to the background and I add some waves to the top. This page is more on female characters and to be honest, I didn't know much in face anatomy and I really can't believe that I draw this without any knowledge of proportions.
this is where I tried to study the Bridgman anatomy and I'll be honest in the first time of studying it. I basically copied the drawing on the book and once I understand it, I will now try to redraw it repeatedly until I fully master. But in the end, it's not what I expected because it was hard. This page is more on SCPy characters that comes in my mind and I'm kind of inspired of creating something different like a cyborg, viking, zombies or a warrior or a pirate, something like that. But before I show you the rest, I would like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So if you don't know what Skillshare is, Skillshare is a great online learning community where people like you and I can get a creative journey and learn new skills. Whether it's a drawing, painting, photography, filmmaking, and you want to improve yourself with an easy tutorial, just go to Skillshare. Skillshare helps me a lot about my sketching studies like Gabrielle Breaky class. It has a full tutorial from start to finish like learning how to make your proportions correct and learn how to draw eyes, nose, and lips. And any other thousand classes like learning how to paint, learn how to film, learn on photography, and the last, learn how to edit your videos. Skillshare is created specifically for learning, meaning that there's no ad so that you can stay focused on pursuing your passion. Make your 2023 a great year to get inspired, have fun, and become a pro, whatever you want to learn with Skillshare. And the first thousand people to use the link in my description below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Okay, so this page is where I use charcoal pencil and a charcoal powder and it's kinda good when I use this in this paper because it is rough paper. This character is like something a vampire hunter cause that moment I used to watch the Van Helsing if you know that and my drawing is kinda good but I don't think I really like the details of some parts of the heads because it's kinda flat. This drawing is Ragnar Lothrop from Vikings if you know that series. I used to draw this as well without any references and I mean it is a great drawing but I don't think I really like the shadings because again it's kind of flat. Okay, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I gotta say that this sketchbook is one of the best I made it so far. Also, this sketchbook, I fell it in within this two or three months, I think. But um, by far, I still not able to finish this sketchbook. As well, I still learned a lot in this first sketchbook and I'm so happy that I finally showed this sketchbook and finally overcome my fear of showing this in the public. So that's it, I hope you learned something in this video and thank you for watching, so until next time, bye bye!